a developer wants to build luxury homes on the hill right behind me, but the case is tied up in court. This week, a judge says a county commissioner and other county officials acted improperly in relation to the case. Plans for a new neighborhood with hundreds of homes that would overlook the Las Vegas skyline on one side and Red Rock Canyon on the other. The idea, talked about for years, gives many residents in the nearby town of Blue Diamond heartburn, including Diane Lunsford. This is a unique feature, and do we want visual pollution to interrupt our unique geologic feature? No, we don't want that. Not for a minute. Developer Jim Rhodes, owner of mining company Gypsum Resources Materials, and the man behind area luxury neighborhoods like Rhodes Ranch, wants to build on Blue Diamond Hill. But there's been opposition for years from conservationists and Blue Diamond residents, like Lunsford and Patsy Leavitt, and, well, everyone else we talked to. That's Nancy and Carl, and uh, I know they're against it. Kathy and Larry are against it. We're all against it. The project is still up in the air, though a civil trial in a related court case is expected to start soon. For years, Rhodes has alleged that county officials, including Commissioner Justin Jones, unfairly blocked his efforts to build on Blue Diamond Hill. Here's Rhodes' lawyer, Todd Bice, grilling Jones Wednesday over the alleged improper deleting of text messages related to the case years ago. Tell the Ethics Commission about your deal with Chairman Sislak? You omitted that, didn't you? Mr. Jones, my question. You omitted that, didn't you? I did not include that in my response. Right. No, I did, did not. Did, did you Judge Joanna Kishner said in court Wednesday that what Jones and a small handful of other county employees did was not on the up and up though she stopped short of issuing sanctions against the county employees. For now, the battle over the homes on the hill will rage on, and many residents of Blue Diamond will, as usual, be following along. A civil trial in the matter is set to start in July. Reporting from just outside Las Vegas, I'm Brian Horwath.